Nice and simple. Let's find this next uh, persona per se. Excuse me, potholders. It is our very existence we are fighting for. Oh, those are the two I need to eavesdrop on. Shoot. Okay. Okay, pay no attention to me. I don't know what I'm doing. We must push back. So, how did you manage to do it? <laughs> it wasn't easy, my friend. No, not at all. Cursed merchant caught me trying to steal from him. Called for help. I can't imagine the guards were pleased. At least a dozen of them appeared. All well armed and spoiling for a fight. What did you do? I ran over, under, and through the crowd. Knocked over a few stalls for good measure. But they kept coming. Then how did you escape? With a little help from my friends. What do you mean? There's a couple of my brothers who gather around the southeastern exit of the souk. They let me pass and then turned their attention towards the guards. Kept them distracted while I got away. Without their help, I wouldn't be here right now. Now that's an important concept to remember. That's why you help citizens throughout the city. The more you help, the more uh, vigilantes they'll create. And the vigilantes will basically let you pass. And then what they'll do is um, turn their attention and they'll hold the guards. They'll knock them over, they'll push them, they'll grab onto them. They'll basically stop the guards from chasing you, which is really quite helpful. Now, as you just saw, it said synchronization complete. We can now go back and get our mission if we want. I'm going to do some more of the other ones just to show you what they are. Just to show you a couple of them. But this is a let's play, and I want to do as much of the game as I can. During some of the larger sessions, where there's um, the later ones, like the, session of, like the next session is three people. No, the session after the next one is three people. And that's going to take me quite a bit of time to get through, so I may not do every investigation for all of those. And like I said, I'll do any investigation that isn't a timed challenge, because I, I never do well on those, and then I just get frustrated, and then... And I can do them, but it would take me a while, and it would be a lot of recording time with me just screwing up, and I don't want to do that. So, on to more happy matters. Let's eavesdrop on someone else. Alrighty. Drop. I said drop out of here. Such a strange man. There's a bench. Find me a nice bench to plonk myself on. Alrighty, where is the... Let's listen. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. <laughs> Basically, that some of them tell you things about the target, their routine. Some of them tell you uh, different access points to their favorite places. Some of them tell you aspects about them, like what kind of person they are. It's basically all information that you're gathering. It will help you kill them later. I personally never use much of it, which isn't good, because I mean, like some of them provide you with maps that show you good access points, ways of avoiding some of the heavily guarded areas. That would probably do me a lot better if I did use them, but unfortunately I don't. Whoa, what the? Oh, a flag! I was gonna say, what? I just jumped over the wall and hit a flag. I was like, whoa, wasn't expecting that. Alrighty, where's another, uh... Let's see, this crazy white guy in a robe just flies off the roof and nobody pays attention. Like, yeah, whatever, no big deal. He's called another meeting. What is it this time? Another warning? Another execution? No, he has work for us to do. Which means we won't be paid. He's abandoned the ways of the Merchant Guild. Does as he pleases now. He treats us as if we were his servants. And the guard does nothing to stop him. Enough! We must go! If we're late, he'll be angry, and we'll suffer for it. 
Perhaps one day, someone will have the courage to stand up to him. Perhaps. But until that day arrives, we should do as told. That's right. Behave like good little rat lads. Rab lats. Rab lats? Yes, rab lats. Rab lats. Lab rats, even. Good god. Only took me, what, five tries to get that straight? Rab lats. Oh my god. <laughs> Pardon me. Idiots. Out of my way, inferior beings. I have people to kill. Now, the next year, eavesdropping, I believe. I haven't been dropping no eaves, sir, honest. I just cut the grass and delivered it there, if you know what I mean. A little late for trimming the verge, wouldn't you say? Alright, you two. Something needs to be done. It's only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then, it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Huh. Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukud. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself. Abu Nukud? Oh, we'll be seeing him later as well. Oh, he's walking right towards me. That's not good. Not want to be, uh... Right in the pathway of the guy we're trying to pickpocket. Alright, can I get to him before he stops again? Yes! Perfect! And we should have one more investigation, which is also a pickpocket. This pickpocket can actually be kind of tricky if I remember. Oh, that's a Templar! Yeah. Templars, like the Templar right down there in the Crusader armor, those guys are those guys attack you on sight. Oh, you can't aerial assassinate in this game. That's in Assassin's Creed 2. Never mind. I keep forgetting you can't you can't do an air assassination. The pro I would fight the Templar. I would have killed him, but the problem is those guys are tough, and I don't have all my I don't have my good equipment, and I don't have any of the counter moves, so I, I'd be I'd be massacred. I can't fight a Templar. You can't fight any big guys in your current state, you're too weak. Come on, come on. I've much to say. Oh crap. Fly! Come people! Come see Ow. what I have to offer! Yeah, that was stupid. Why am I even going on the roof? I don't need to be on the roof, I need to be down. Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same men as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Last investigation of this session. He'll walk slightly and then he'll immediately stop and turn around. That's what they all do. And as soon as he starts moving again, we proceed. See if we can get to him quickly before it, uh... Yes! All that remains is to return to the Assassin's Bureau, then put a knife in the skull of this moron. What's his name? Tamir? Yeah. I keep mixing him up with another guy. There's another guy called Talel, which we, which we have... There's another guy called Talel later on in the game, but... Tamir Talel. Yeah. You know what I mean. Skirt along the walls. Like a good little boy. I do love the roof, the rooftop and platforming mechanics in Assassin's Creed. The only problem with this game is the camera angles. You'll sometimes the camera shifts suddenly and you go flying off the edge. I mean, I've done that before. We've all done it before. I'm surprised there's no guards on the rooftops. Mine, I suppose this is the poor district, so ah Ah oh, come on, seriously. There we go. Back to the bureau. And jump inside! Oh. 
Never mind. Okay, drop inside. Hello. Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. <laughs> Tell me what you know. Tell me your rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Sounds like such a wonderful person, doesn't he? Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here What's until up? you are ready. Shut up. I'm trying to talk. You always feel bad. I always thought I was gonna feel bad killing all these people in this game, and I realized, oh wait, these guys are complete jerks. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. They almost make they make you hate the person that you have to kill. So it's like, yes, I really want to kill this guy. Tamir is within the souk, preoccupied, preparing his large shipment of weapons and armor to strike. Prepare to kill yourself. Blah blah blah. I completely butchered that. I wasn't even trying to read it. Shut up. Into souk el salah. Where we have to go. Sukal Salah. Into the hiding place. Out of the hiding place. He's found the courage to stand in the defense of our great civilization. Shut up, I'm such a brown nose. I am such a kiss ass. Across the rooftops. Ah ha! I was fell and broke my neck. The beams in the souk can be accessed like so. You are wise, which is why you come to me. Woo! You seem to know exactly what you want. Can't get up there from that way. I have anything anyone could point to. Whoa! There we go. Why would you do that? Yeah, you climb the beams to the souk. That's how it works. I need food. I'm so hungry. You can actually go there any way you want, but still. Oh, but you can't, uh... See, this is the sequence where you always meet the guy, but the problem is I can't, uh... Ah, uh, you have to be down on the ground floor, otherwise he doesn't appear. It's kind of annoying. So now we're gonna meet the guy we have to kill. Such a lovely fellow, this guy. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time! This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? Oh. I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? You dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut! No! Stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! No! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! <laughs> That's a nice spot. Really. Nice. No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. 
Such a lovely fellow. We should, we should invite him for tea. And we're gonna blend the hidden blade and we're going to very casually walk up to the man. And I always seem to give myself away. I can never seem to get a stealth kill on this guy. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Where did... There, got him. There we go. Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Alrighty. Tamir is dead. And now, we have something very important to do. You know what we're gonna do? We are going to run like hell. We're gonna get the hell out of here, we're gonna book. Run like there's no tomorrow. Ow! What the hell? Oh, my feet were dangling, no wonder. Okay, get up. Get up. Use the beams to escape. Hello. Now if I can remember where the hell I'm supposed to go. Out of my way. I don't care, I'm exposed. I'm infamous. Yes, vigilantes, block them while I get away. Should probably find somewhere to hide. It's a good hiding spot. Let's get them off our backs for a few seconds at least. Up on the roof. Oh, damn it. Well, that didn't last long. Sure, I can hide from you quite easily. I do it for a living. Run across the roof. Find a hiding place. That's the bureau, but we obviously can't go in yet because we're so infamous. Oh, damn it. Oh, stupid tree. Damn tree, get out of my way. I'm trying to just stand and fight, but that would just take way too long. Oh, damn it. I love the music, the chase music in this game. I don't care. God is already dead. You cannot escape. The problem is there's so many guards everywhere, so you literally, it's almost impossible to stand up and come out of hiding without being found anonymous. Without being found, I mean. Found anonymous? That makes absolutely no sense. If you blend and walk slowly, you can go past the guards because you look like a scholar, but the problem is you move so slow and it takes such a long time. You really just have to move where you can. Try not to draw attention to yourself. You can get up on the roof without being spotted. It's normally the best way of doing it, but it's just tricky. There's guards everywhere. Oh my god, so many guards. Oh my god, again, seriously? I was so freaking close. There we go. There we go. That works. He's gonna climb up on the roof, isn't he? Don't climb up on the roof. Don't climb up on the roof. I hate you. Oh, God. Oh, well, there's only one of them. You gonna get down? Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a stupid guard? Alrighty. Alright, let's get the hell back to the bureau. 
if once if you can get up on the rooftops and still be uh, anonymous, you're pretty much set because the guards don't come up on the rooftops until in the later stages of the game. Drop. I said drop. There we go. Whee! Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Tamir has been slain. We are good. And that is the end of session two. Thank God I finally got another session recorded. It's taken me forever to do it, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And I think next session we get our counter kills back. Thank God, so we can actually start fighting against some of the guards instead of having to run from them constantly. So, until.